Okay, tonight we're going to talk about how to replace file content in PowerShell. Now, I'm going to show you real quick, and this ought to be a fairly quick video, what we've got here. We've got a, a script where we've, we've parsed out, where we've scripted out some SPs, right? And we've got this uh, set quoted identifier on that's going on here. And, of course, when you go to run this, it's going to tell you that the create procedure has to be the first statement in the batch, right? And while for this one you could easily do this in SMS, uh, in, in Management Studio, you could easily do a, a search and replace in Management Studio. What if you have, you know, dozens of files or hundreds of files in folders, right? So you notice how, you know, we've got all of these guys. Every one of these guys has the same thing in it, right? It's, it's got two of them, right? So go through you know all of these folders and do that same operation for all of these files because maybe you got this from a developer who likes to spit out you know lots of files in separate folders and then you'll see the need for doing something like this in PowerShell okay so <clears throat> and you can also do it during your scripting operation as well so I'll actually cover some of that in another video I'll kind of put all of this together but right now we're just going to talk about the the sole purpose the the sole act of of doing a search and replace and this is going to be a simple one the criteria can change but this is just a, a really good method for doing it so what I'm gonna do is I'm already in that folder okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say uh, get content um, sps.txt okay I'm gonna pipe that to a for each, um, start my curly brackets. I'm going to do my current iteration variable, and I'm going to say replace. Now, what do I want to replace? I want to replace the. I'm going to use all caps just like that. Set quoted identifier on. Oops, where are we? And then I'm going to do my comma. And then I'm going to do empty text. So I just want to take it away. I could replace it with anything, but right now I want to replace it with nothing. I just want to get rid of every single every single instance of that in there, right? So, so far I have uh, gotten the content um, of sps.txt. I've piped that to a for each, and I'm saying uh, <clears throat> uh, for each line, I want to do a replace set quoted identifier on with nothing. But unfortunately, I still haven't written anything out, right? So now I pipe that to a set content. I'll put this up here, right? And it goes to the same file. So, and I could pipe that to a different file, right? I could take that whole thing and write it to a different file and keep the original. But right now, I'm going to overwrite the entire file. I'm going to go ahead and close this. So I don't get some kind of uh, file sharing problem, some, some kind of file sharing uh, error. Good. Now I should have all of that stuff fixed, and there you go. All of those lines have been taken out of there. Now I'm still going to need to do something about this, right? Because I would still need to create a go statement in here, but you know that's really that's really quite hard to do. Um, this is a simple file and I could do it, but that would be really, really hard to do in most uh, create procedure files. Uh, you know, you'd have to do that when you're actually scripting out the SP. And uh, I can't remember if I've made a video on that or not. So if I have made a video on that, then uh, I'll try to reference it. Um, I'll try to reference it in a, in a link on the, on the page to this video. If I haven't, then I'll go ahead and try to make a video for it so that we can go ahead and just close the loop on that one. Anyway, that's how you replace content in a file. It's very easy. Um, this replace content right here, uh, where is it? Uh, this replace right here uh, is, is very easy. You can come up with ways to do more sophisticated searches. Um, but uh, right now, uh, if you're just looking for a, a quick, a good quick mass search and replace to span over several files or several folders, um, this is a good tool. Anyway, good luck.